this, you said that after like intimate time, private time, private time, that I get mean. Your parents have a tendency of sharing everything, even sometimes things that should be kept behind closed doors. Are you ever feeling like, y'all, enough already, just leave it behind the doors. <laughs> like, stop oversharing. <laughs> At this point, it's like, no, not any, I, no, not anymore. I'm like, you know, let's everyone say what you need to say, but they, they never really actually cross a line. You know, we have yeah. a very respectful relationship. So there's never been a real moment where I'm like, oh my God, why would you share that? And if there right. has, I genuinely yeah. can't really remember it. It is our daughter's birthday today. Oh, happy birthday, Lola. I would say she's legal to drink, but she's been, she's had an ID for a year. I think they know by this point. Yeah what line they shall and shall not cross. I think they're they're very aware that my brothers and I are on social media and that we see what they post, so they know better now. <laughs> okay, well, so tell me this though. Is it true that you have to get photo or posting approval anytime your mama posts something about you on the gram? I mean, photo, or, yes, but in the way of, I've seen the photos that she takes some are amazing <laughs> and some are not. So I just want to make sure that everyone yeah. is on the same page as to what looks good and what doesn't. And that's right. I mean, let's be honest. Our parents don't always grab the best angle, you know? No, no. So and I'm just yeah, exactly. Not a lot is off limits for Kelly Ripa and Mark Consuelos on live. And even though their 22 year old daughter Lola takes it all in stride, that doesn't mean she's reading mom's best selling memoir. I've read a few chapters. Are you um, gonna read the full throttle book? I'm going to, you know, it's so funny when my mom signed it to me. Dear Lola, I love you. Here, this is for you. P.S., you know, skip chapter <laughs> four. <laughs> I'm reading it carefully. Lola's finally got time for some light reading. She graduated college in May and will be spending time abroad while focusing on her new career. I was doing just fine till he crossed my mind. Congratulations on your new single. Of course, it's called Divine Timing, and it's out on Spotify Friday. Girl, I'm like Lola Consuelos here. You got some soul, sis. Thank you. Divine Timing is how the universe is looking out for you. Um, and Divine Timing is kind of about how Maybe it is always looking f out for you, maybe not at the exact time or moment that you want, mm -hmm. um, which I think is relatable in relationships, friendships. So that's what divine timing is about. But you know, it's it's up for interpretation. And so yeah. whatever you make from it or whatever you make of divine timing is, uh -huh. is perfectly fine. There's been so many moments where you're kind of like, do I release it? Do I not? And I think as soon as I kind of bit the bullet and just did it, it's only been exciting from here. My music is definitely authentic to me. That's the most important thing to me. Oftentimes we see songwriters, singers these days get a lot of inspiration, not just from like life, but particularly relationships. So yeah. what does your boyfriend make of your music? Is he inspiring any of it? <laughs> Come he on, Lola. Lola. No, he, he absolutely loves it. And everyone always asks me this, like, is your music about specific people? And I'm, I've only released two songs, but truly both of them are not necessarily about anything, any one specific, but definitely mm -hmm. situations that maybe I've Encount endured multiple times, or that I know maybe a friend has, or a yeah. family member. So, yeah, when when it's when it's specific, I feel like everyone will know. Yeah, yeah. Pulling a Taylor Swift on us. <laughs> Who's your oh John Mayer, Lola? <laughs> oh my God, my John Mayer. What do you hope people take from your passion, your creativity, and the song? Um, I think whatever they want to take from it, um, like I said before, it's really up for interpretation. Yeah. And so, you know, whatever story kind of fits with in in that moment in their life with my song, um, yeah, is what what I ultimately want for my listeners is to be able to kind of make whatever they want with 
my music. That's so cool. And there's no rhyme or reason to releasing music nowadays. You know, you could release a track, you could release an EP, you could do a full-fledged album, you know, and totally. you never know where social media could take it too, you know? Right. I mean, TikTok. TikTok Girl. is Have it's you crazy. thought about a TikTok dance for it yet? <laughs> you know what? I actually did with, I had, me and my friends and I were talking about creating a TikTok dance. Yeah. I think it's going to come, but you know, it's a bit slow. It's just, it might be I don't be know, you could do a little something or it could be some sort of like, uh, I, I don't know. I feel like I, you're creative, Lola. I'm going to yeah. leave it to you, but I can yeah, see we're it gonna, happening it, for sure. It's in the works. Be, yeah. Everyone should be on the lookout for the Divine Timing TikTok dance. It's because it's coming. So how would you describe your sound in a few words? Yeah, I would say soulful, soulful as well. Yeah. Um, I think my sound's a bit R&B and maybe a, a bit alternative, but I also have a lot of music that is on a completely different spectrum and maybe like very housey. So it's, it's, just, it's everything and more. If you had to put your music on a playlist with other artists, what other artists would you include into the mix? A playlist with other artists? Mm -hmm. Of course, okay. featuring your music as well, naturally. Right. Okay. And it has to be on the same vibe? No, it's just who would you want to be featured? If you had to create like a summer jam playlist yeah, okay. to pool side, okay. who would you want to be on it with you? I'm going to do Lana Del Rey, Polo and Pan, Amy Winehouse. I'm sorry, I've said this a thousand times. Like, I need to add her. I just can't. Yeah. I cannot. Um, Amy Winehouse. Let's do as my final one, Omar Apollo. What advice have your dear sweet parents given you about embarking into the music industry? Or do you care to just not take their advice? <laughs> um, their advice about, you know, going into the music industry doesn't necessarily have to do with music at all because they do not know about music and, you know, they're not in the music industry. But I think right. just, um, just to, you know, stay humble, respectful, kind, um, and hardworking is definitely, it's always been there. I think there are priorities in raising my brothers and I of how just to act in general and not even just in, um, you know, specifically your career, but everyday life, which I think is great to take with you wherever you, whatever, wherever you go. Yes, it doesn't matter if you're a teacher, if you're a songwriter, singer, actor, like those are just the rules of life to be kind, to contribute, you know. Um, and to stay to inspired that. as well. Yeah. Stay, stay inspired. Yeah. Well, did you ever feel like you were inspired to maybe follow in your parents' footsteps of acting or did you always know that that was just not on the table for you? Yeah, I mean, there's an, never once have I ever felt the need to do that because they do that and I, and the same thing with music. There was no part of what they do that kind of influenced my decision to ultimately go into music. But yeah. I wouldn't really rule out acting. I mean, I always am willing to try new things, but music is my main priority right now. What is next for you? Is it an album? Is it an EP? Is yeah. it touring? Do you already have live dates set up where you want to perform? What is next for you, Lola? So I think next is going to be an EP for sure. Um, and then hopefully an album after that. And live performing is something that I want to do 100%. Um, I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm comfortable with the music that I'm releasing and happy with it. And um, I'm ready for that, um, which I feel like I am, but I don't want to, I don't feel the need to rush anything because I'm enjoying what I'm doing so much that I'm just letting it all flow naturally. Might we ever see you perform one of your songs on live? Probably not. <laughs> Definitely live performances on okay. live though, <laughs> who knows? <laughs>